Hello there, I'm Dylan here and welcome to the fourth part of Protons on the Pixels auction. And today we're checking out two auctions actually. We're going to start off with the one for, for the 30th of July 2020. It's, it has a lot of cars but we are only interested at the at three cars that are at the very bottom of the... Uh, at the very bottom. So it's going to take some time for us to get there. But uh, you will see what I mean. Right, so these three cars we first saw in part 1, but I guess they weren't sold and so they have been relisted. We have the Proton Chichap Man, a Proton Chancellor, and a Proton Wanter. Starting off with the Proton Chichap Man, it's an innovation car. Alright, let's check out the images. Okay. Next up, we have the Proton Chancellor. Warja Chancellor. With the Proton Vira steering wheel. The Paradana V6 Mitsubishi V6 2 liter engine. And then we have the Proton Waja Valley Car. Okay, and now we may proceed to this auction, which is e bidding Proton R and D salvage auction. So this is full of cars on the Proton R and D department, and what's the most interesting is that there are cars with camouflage. This Proton Persona, and this Proton Persona, and this one, and this one, and this one. So there are a total of just 15 cars, and yeah, it's Persona, Suprema, Preve, Sarkas, and majority personas. It's persona galore. So this persona here is a, well they say it's persona, uh, I don't know why lah, but okay. So if we go over to here, yeah you may see all the, the yellow highlights, what, wow, anniversary edition ah. Well no, it's rather, I predict that these are just pre-production trim pieces and that they haven't removed the wrapping from the trim pieces and you can tell this is an early persona as it has the prototype dual tone alloy wheels that never came to market there are no rear badges to speak of this one has a broken in rear window inside it's got a manual gearbox and looks to be like a standard model the unpainted door handles and side mirrors and you know inside there's no fabric on the seat on the door and there's a single dim radio that's that there's no leg room in there wow so the production vvt engine so no this does not have the vvi engine uh, 
these daylight doesn't seem to have the proton script up here. Uh, it's cracked also. Fun disc brakes, rear drum brakes. Okay. And next up we have the Proton Suprema S. And this looks to be like a standard stack Proton Suprema S. Uh, but upon closer inspection, it's got one really interesting thing going for this. First and foremost, it says Turbo. It says Turbo. Okay, just keep that in mind. It says Turbo. But if we come inside, you see there is a manual gear shifter. And there is also a Proton Wanja head unit. So I'm not sure if this is uh, a Suprema S standard with uh, with a Campro I C Campro IAFM Plus engine, or it's the CFP engine. I believe this is the regular IAFM engine. So yeah. Oh yeah, manual Suprema has never seen in the market. The and it's got a uh, Ivy's an Ivy's binnacle apparently. Um, is it? That's is that an a? Yeah, it's apparently got some. It's got an Ivy's binnacle apparently. Interesting. Moving on, we have a Proton Prevé. That is not Proton Prevé. It looks like a regular. Uh, looks like a. Judging by the trim pieces, looks and the lack of keyless entry, this seems to be a standard executive spec Proton Prevé. Does not seem to have the vehicle stability control button, so this is an earlier model. And missing a rear headrest. This is a CVT model. Uh, but it doesn't. This engine cover is the. I do not. Is this the engine cover for the IAFM engine? I think it is. Uh, I don't remember though. That's the boot. Missing the piece here. And then moving on, we have a Proton Sarga, Proton Sarga, and this looks to be like a premium model based off the wheels uh, and the chrome trim up across the back. Inside, it looks pretty standard, uh, except it's got a Sarga FLX gear shifter. Uh, the gear shifter and the this generation of Sarga does not look like this. And it's got a more basic standard steering wheel. And I can't tell if this is the variable valve timing engine without the engine cover or what. Um, Tiny rear drum brakes, and yeah, that's a standard binnacle cluster. And then we have another uh, Proton Sarga. Uh, this looks to be exactly the same. Yes. It's got 14 inch, uh, though it's got the 14 inch wheels that we see on the current Sarga, Sarga, Saga's uh, standard 80. But this is clearly a preface to Saga. Inside, um, well inside we've got the better gear shifter and we've got the premium steering wheel and the VVT engine cover is there. Uh, okay. Mm 
this does seem to have the larger rear disc brake, judging by the fact that it's not so uh, so well. It's more visible through the spokes. Yeah, these are 14 inch wheels, and we've got a standard binnacle without the silver highlight. No, actually, I believe the generation they eliminated the silver highlights around the uh, speedometer and drive counter, though I'm not sure. And then we got the last Proton Saga in this listing. It's missing the front badge. It's got a Persona alloy wheel. Missing the rear badge as well. Again with that Persona wheel. This has an executive standard radio, lots of buttons here, the proper gear shift and the premium steering wheel and missing an engine cover, but I really don't think an engine cover is that important. Again with that binnacle cluster. Next up, we have a Proton Persona. This is a prototype three face lift model um, because you can kind of see the internal weave behind the camouflage. This reminds me of a prototype that Contestico posted up about. You can see the alloy wheels have been disguised. Inside, it looks to be based off a premium model. I mean, it's on the new seats. It has the it has a GKUI infotainment system. It's got a revised rear vent with the middle passenger being shortened up. With the VVT engine. But we have a pre facelift instrument cluster. We have another early Proton, uh, Proton Persona with the Proton spiral wheels. This is the one with the busted uh, window back here. Looks to be another standard model, manual transmission, single bin radio, unpainted door handles, unpainted side mirrors. Uh, looks to have a different gear shifter though from what we are familiar with, the standard persona. That's the rear shards of the rear glass. Yeah, we have another Proton Persona with camouflage. Uh, this one looks to be camouflaging an internal weave wheel again, but it's got three facelift wheels and it looks to have the body kit. Uh, yeah. It's trying to hide a facelifted rear bumper. Continuing on, part of your bumper is, has gone. Inside, we have a pre uh, torn apart interior, and the, the the infotainment, the gauge cluster has been gone. Plenty of uh, bezels and parts are gone as well. Oh, it's got a GKUI uh, infotainment system. A lot of the parts is outside the car. Interesting. 
we now have a red proton persona that has persona R again this has 14 inch IV's uh, wheels although it's got a chrome strip again around the back with the proton lettering interesting inside simple gauge cluster this seems to be Saga standard executive uh, send a video and look at this proton badge look how massive it is compared to the, the binnacle <laughs> um, Alright, pretty standard thus far. Those IVs porting into alloy wheels. And I can't tell if this is the 1.3 or the 1.6 VVT engine. Next up, we have another Proton Persona. This one has IVs 1.6, 2014, 2017. No, 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 no. D story has uh, the previous generation uh, alloy wheels that debuted in the 2014 Persona Executive, if not mistaken. Those are 15 inch in sizes as well. It looks pretty good. No rear badges uh, to speak of. Got an inching, uh, uh, got an inching gear shifter. Uh, I don't recognize this player. 5 speed gearbox. It's got a black black center console with the beige handbrake. Okay, this has uh, fabric here, no fabric here. It's got audio controls though. It's got audio controls on the steering wheel. It's got painted side mirror and then an unpainted side mirror. Yeah, this is really of a mismatch. These are the previous generation Persona wheels. Um, the headlights are starting to haze up. Something happened under the engine bay, I can't quite tell. And we have another Proton Persona, black in color with the prototype wheels. The dual tone prototype wheels. Again, with a busted rear window. Um, perhaps the car was locked, I think, and then they couldn't unlock it. This seems to be an executive spec perso a persona, judging by the head unit that's shared with the IVs. It's got the steering mount on audio controls. Glass shards everywhere again. Oop, that's the preface, that's the face the of that persona there. Again with the proton lettering and the uh, proton lettering on the chrome strip. <laughs> and proton's variable valve timing engine. And three more guys, three more. <laughs> so we have this persona again with an internal with uh, grill and iris. 1.6 wheels. The flower pattern, dual tone, and finish. Completely camouflage rear. Although it's inside, it's got a preface with seats. But it's got a new meter cluster, still with the wrapping. Uh, it's got GKUI. Again with the variable valve timing engine and all the three pieces are still there. We have another Proton Persona here, again hiding the internal weave grill behind some camouflage. It says here temporary camouflage. Uh, looks to have the IVs facelift wheels on. The back has some camouflage on the rear bumper. You can tell this is the preface developer by this character line here among other elements. Inside we've got the preface lift components like the gauge cluster and spacing the central console and head 
rest. But they're all here. They're all here. <laughs> so the fabric, uh, fabric three pieces here. A pillar's been taken apart. Glove box been taken apart. Wow. Variable valve timing engine. Yeah. Is that a blanking plate? I think that's a blanking plate. And last but not least, we have a chameleon brown put on persona with cloud hat and wheels in single tone, hiding an internal weave grill that looks to. And uh, the sky is a bumper again with the shattered glass. Not sure what's going on. But the preface to components inside as well, like the seats and the gate cluster and the gear shifter. But there's a GKUI system. The variable valve timing engine once again. And that is guys, part 4. Is this the last time you're going to see proposal because of auction? I don't know. 